What's going on, everybody? It's Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and I'm here for something different. If you're thinking that I jumped in early with my live that's supposed to go on in about two hours, you're wrong. First of all, salute to everybody out there. This is not me jumping in early to the um, old live that we do later on tonight. This is me just doing, um, it's almost like accountability for myself. I have a couple of fragrances that I want to review later on this week, and I know that if I put the pressure on myself right now by announcing them, then I'll probably actually do them this week. So again, this is not the Friday night Ood talk. This is just me putting pressure on myself to actually do these reviews later on this week. So really quickly, it's like a little mini haul. If I already did the review, I'm not showing it today. So um, earlier in the week, I believe I did the um, the Lao Ood by Bordnikov. That was one of the ones that just came in. I'm not covering that right now, obviously, for that reason. But I'll get through this really quickly to move on with my day and get ready for the... Uh, <laughs> yes, happy Friday. What's up, Marcial? Um, and get on with the rest of the evening. So really quickly, these are the ones that I am going to um, be covering here uh, in the near future. Number one is from another one from the House of Bordnikov, easily becoming one of my favorite, favorite um, fragrance houses right now. Super high quality coming from this house. And this is Tobac Dore, uh, golden tobacco fragrance right here. So um, I'm not gonna talk too much about them, just let you know the name. And yes, I definitely did like this. Um, the next one I'm gonna talk about is from the house of Gisette Parfum, and that is uh, Gourmand Bacor Creme de la Creme Golden Edition. I have the other one, but this is a, a couple of changes that I think are for the best. I like the other one. I'm in love with this one. So um, if you love Gourmand, definitely look out for this review. Um, the other one is another one from Gisette Parfum, and this is Le Denier Sultan. Um, you see no label. They're very artistic over there. They do what they want to do. They're not here to make you happy. They're here to make themselves happy, but it just happens that I do get happy when I smell these. So Le Denier Sultan um, from Gisette Parfum, amazing amazing fragrance um if you don't know about this look it up really quickly when you get the chance but i'll tell you right now very smooth coffee gourmandy citrus vibe um this is a dope one very limited i don't know if you can even get it anymore um but it is dope check it out um and check out the review it's coming out this week and um last no not even last <laughs> i'll save last for a particular reason but the next one is gonna be um arege ladore parfum manly this is um from one of the dudes who um are picking up a lot of hype in my world anyway russian adam and this fragrance right here this is this is this is in its own i don't even want to get too into it like i feel like i, I i'll just start reviewing it right now i'm not going to talk about it right now i'm going to tell you this this is amazing if 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 you can still buy this i think you can you should they're not going to last long i guarantee it and um, you're gonna regret it. I'm telling you. Like, I, I will just put this out, and I and I see uh, be more fragrant in the house. I, I, I talked to him about this earlier too. This right here for me. If you are a fan of Enigma um, or Creation E, depending on where you are in the world, this is in that kind of vein of fragrance. But it's the man is the manly version. This is the the chest hair version of it. The scruff on it. I don't know. Add three inches to it. But this is the grown man version to that kind of fragrance. And I can't wait to do the review on it because I really, really like how this um, this fragrance right here smells. And then my last, and it's the last for a reason. It's not bad, it's different. And it is <laughs> dual fragrance, and it is a uh, tobacco affair. And the reason it was last, and the reason why it's the one with the least hype coming from me right now at least, it's, um, <laughs> so if you like that um look at the end of the day great fragrance i'm not gonna lie to you this is a great this is a nice fragrance this is uh, almost gentlemanly regal fragrance this is nice i like it i will wear this this is not a tobacco affair uh, i'll leave it at that actually i have one note this is this is more like a musk soapy clean with a little bit of tobacco in the background affair Everybody has their own opinion. That's cool. Some people might be hyping it up for the reasons, but I believe that Vanilla Affair was a Vanilla Affair. 
Um, their powder affair was a powder affair. Tobacco affair is, it's a different kind of affair. Um, it's just, it, it smells clean. It smells um, of a person who takes care of themselves. It, it smells fancy, um, but it's not tobacco. It's just, it's, it's just, I don't think it's a tobacco fragrance. Um, I'm sure there's tobacco in there and it's maybe a very, very clean tobacco, maybe a very early beginner tobacco. And I fell in to the trap and I started reviewing it early and I said, I'm not going to do that. All right. I'm not reviewing that today. That's it. I'm not reviewing that today. Um, I just wanted to say those are the ones that I will be reviewing this week. So you can see the list. Um, if you're on the live, cool. I appreciate it. If you catch the video later and you stick around to this point and you've seen this, you can go ahead and DM or add the comment. If you have a preference of which one I do first, they kind of, I kind of all want to do them in one day. I, I I'm not going to lie. I might do them all tonight. So if you see five videos come out with the exact same background of the shirt, I, I didn't just put on the same shirt five days in a row. I might do them all tonight. Like, no shit. But, um, yeah, that, so that's what I got today. Um, again, for those who just jumped in, it, it was I wasn't really trying to take too much time and, and chop it up too much. Um, yeah, but it is disappointing. You're right, Soph. Mike, what's going on, my brother? Yeah, man, I, I heard you might jump in live. So I got, I got, I got, I got handsome for you, bro. Um, got manly now. If you're interested, it's gonna go up in price after it sells out, just like every other. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. And let me tell you something. I, I got on um, Arej Ledore as a as a company late in the game, right? And one of their like um, crown jewel fragrances, uh, Russian oud. I don't know anybody who has it, and I don't know if anyone who does have it will ever even sell you a decant. It's done. His fragrances, the special thing about them, he gets the uh, all the raw um, materials. He he distills a lot of his own um, oils. He makes it, and after that batch is done, he has to start over for the next fragrance. So it may never smell like the first batch. That's what you're missing out on when um when you don't get on uh, Arez Le Dore perfumes early. You you miss you miss the the crown jewel experience. And for me. That that Russian oud, based on everything I've seen about it, and even Russian Adams' um, explanation of it, and how he's tried to recreate it, he rented out an entire oud distillery for a month, put in the work, did everything he did the first time, or he felt he did it, and he and he said the the oud just didn't work the same way. It didn't have that that chocolatey um, appeal that the first one did. That when he blended it with with cacao later, it just became this really amazing fragrance. So. If you have the opportunity to cop this now, like D'Angelo said, get it because, you know, with, with his company, the same thing always happens. It creates a hype and then it creates a crazy, crazy um, demand for it and the price goes like out of this world. So, um, yeah, man, that was it. Like I said, we, we'll be back tonight with the with the Friday night Ooh talk as we always do. Tonight we're talking about the... Um, we're talking about the um, floral ouds. I put out a post earlier, so, and I'll have myself, um, Marcial, my boy Kyrie, and Claudia Nairi will be in the house as well. That's uh, tonight at nine o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time and a, a lot earlier, everybody, oh, everywhere else. But um, yeah, so that's that, nine o'clock for us. And uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you later. Um, um, that's it. That's all I got for you. Like I said, this wasn't a really big video. This wasn't supposed to be too long. This is just putting out the video, the, the fragrances that I am going to be reviewing this week. Again, if you have a preference, is one you're more um, interested in, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you know the numbers are overwhelming in one direction, I'll start with those. And if not, I'll just do them randomly. Thanks a lot, everybody. Fragged out, swagged out, and I'm out.